Hi everyone, welcome back to Alice on the Giant Bookshelf. Today I'm going to be talking all about the TV series Reacher and how it compares to the source material, the book Killing Floor by Lee Child. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Alice and this is Harry, my cat. And today's video is all about the Lee Child book Killing Floor and the t new TV series Reacher, both of which are about one of my favourite characters, Jack Reacher. Before we get started, back in September I made another video which was the first in my Reader's Guide to series and it was all about the character Jack Reacher and all of the books about him. I just want to say thank you to everybody who has watched that video and um, thank you if you are a new subscriber who has come to the channel through the video. I would like to do a giveaway in thanks because this video has reached an amazing 7.8 thousand views as we speak and that is just mind-blowing to me. When I made the video I just wanted to talk through a book series that I've absolutely loved and I knew that there was a TV series coming soon but I didn't know when and that series came out in February and the video has just gone mad so thank you if you've watched that video. If you haven't seen that video yet it does give you a guide to reading the books of Lee Childs and I will link it here if you want to go and see it. So to celebrate and to say thank you I thought I would do a giveaway and the giveaway appropriately is going to be of a Lee Child Jack Reacher book. I will buy this copy new for you if you are the winner. If you would like it to be, it will be this book, Killing Floor, on which this TV series is based. If you've already read Killing Floor or already own it and you'd like a different Jack Reacher book for your prize, um, we can discuss that if you are the winner. I'll open this giveaway internationally. It's not affiliated with anybody except me. The giveaway will be open for one week. I'll give you until Saturday the 19th of March and I will close the giveaway at midnight um, Greenwich Mean Time on that day. If you would like to be entered into a draw to win a copy of a Jack Reacher book, um, please do comment down below and I would like to see in your comment any emoji that you think um, represents the Jack Reacher series or an emoji about books or television. I'll also be offering entry to the giveaway on Instagram and the winner will be chosen after midnight on the 19th of March. You will need to be willing to share your address with me. That was the first thing in the video. Thank you everybody who has viewed my other video about Jack Reacher and I've had quite a few comments on that asking me about my thoughts about the TV series. So today I thought I would give a bit of a review. It has been a little bit of time since the series came out, but that is because I wanted to reread the book and I finished rereading the book yesterday. So I now feel sure that I know what I want to say about the book in comparison to the TV show. First of all, a brief summary of this book. This book was published in 1997 and it is the first book about Jack Reacher who is basically a ex-military man. He's been serving in the military for 13 years, lots of that in the military police. When this book starts he has been out of the military for six months and has been traveling around America from place to place wanting to see his own country which he's never really explored before. At the opening of Killing Floor Jack Reacher arrives in a small town in Georgia called Margrave and he's randomly got off the bus there thinking to go and visit a place that he heard a blues musician went once. So the blurb says, Margrave is a no account little town in Georgia. Jack Reacher jumps off a bus and walks 14 miles in the rain, just passing through. An arbitrary decision, a tribute to a guitar player who died there decades before. But Margrave has just had its first homicide in 30 years and Reacher is the only stranger in town. So the murder is pinned on him. As nasty secrets leak out and the body count mounts, one thing is for sure, they pick the wrong guy to take the fall. Killing Floor introduces Jack Reacher, the tough ex-military cop of no fixed abode. Trained to think fast and act faster with an eye for the women, he tr is truly every thinking reader's perfect action hero. Now, 
I love this book and I love the Jack Reacher series, especially the early books in it. So I was really eager to see the new TV series, which has been released in February on Amazon Prime. And this has rapidly apparently become Amazon Prime's most watched series ever. And it's already been renewed for a second series, which is great. And it stars um, Alan Richardson as Reacher, Willa Fitzgerald as Roscoe, and Malcolm Goodwin as Detective Finlay. Those are the three sort of main main actors in this. So today I wanted to uh, talk about how the series compares to the book. I'm going to try to do that without spoilers. To start off with, the first thing I would say is that the series is pretty faithful to the book. I actually don't think I've watched a series before that has kept so many details of a book. So I think it will really please like hardcore Jack Reacher book fans. Let's talk about some additions and some changes. There were two major additions, I feel, to the series that are not made up by the series. They are taken directly from later books in this series. So first of all, we see the introduction of Frances Neagley. She is Jack's sergeant from his military police days. And she does appear in several of the Jack Reacher books but she didn't appear until later on in the series. I believe her first book appearance was Without Fail, which was around about the fifth or sixth book. The other addition was the use of Jack's backstory, childhood, and there were some flashbacks to his mother's death. This is all actually very, very well done, um, this backstory part, and I think it was necessary to introduce it in the first series, um, but it is taken from later books. And from what I can remember, it's taken very directly from the later books. So yeah, I, I was happy with that. I feel a little bit less happy about the introduction of Frances Neagley. Um, it was fine, but I did feel that um, the introduction of her character did contribute to a bit of what I would say might be described as a little bit of padding in the middle of the series. But let's carry on with some other changes. So there are some changes that have been introduced just to bring it more up to date from the 90s. So when this was published in 1997, there is an airport scene in this which is changed to uh, a train station in the series, which makes sense because of all the airport regulations we have um, since the 2000s. And they also introduced from the beginning that Reacher does have a passport on him which again makes sense because there is a, a part where he goes to an airport and flies to another state in this, um, which at the time I think he wouldn't have needed a passport for. But obviously this has been brought up to date. Other changes that I don't think were necessarily for reasons of time. There is a slight change in the villains and in their operation. So the climax of the book is <laughs> slightly different from the climax of the series because of certain choices that they have made. I'm not going to spoiler those here, but if you've read and seen the series, you will know what I mean. Also, I think that Reacher and Roscoe's relationship, which again, I won't spoil, develops more slowly in the series, which is an understandable change. The one that I, I like a bit less is that Reacher seems to have been given a bit too much of a food obsession for my liking in the series. Um, in the book, he loves coffee and there's a lot of mentions of coffee and how much he drinks it. There isn't the amount of food in the books that Reacher is seen eating in the series. So the biggest change, which is a change that is unavoidable, is that this book is in first person. And when you're adapting a first person book, in my opinion, you always lose a lot in terms of the narrator's inner thoughts and own personality. I felt on a reread that Jack Reacher has some very human reactions inside him and a lot of feelings that just can't be got across when you take it out of first person. This change also meant that all of the side characters were given their own scenes and storylines, and their characters were fleshed out a bit, which can only be good for a series. The series was able to basically show us a lot of things that happen when Reacher's not there in the book, that Reacher is told about in the book. So things that he didn't see firsthand, we get to see firsthand in the series. All the major action scenes from the book were pretty faithfully rendered, apart from a scene in New York, which I think was drastically changed. Let's move on to my thoughts. These are my personal opinions. If you don't agree with me, let me know in the comments down below. When I first read this book, I had already read 
Die Trying and The Visitor. So it was my third Jack Reacher book and I read it in 2013, which is why I made the decision after watching the series to have a reread to see how closely similar they were. I'd been hearing that and I felt myself that they were very closely related to each other, but I wanted to check. Let's talk my thoughts about Reacher himself first. I thought Alan Richardson looks wise is well cast, although my personal picture in my head of Jack Reacher is a bit more gnarled and a bit older, um, but I realised on rereading this that he is 36 in this book, so the age of the actor is about right. I think maybe he's a little bit too sort of clean cut, young looking for me, but I thought it was a good match. I think personally that he will grow into the part. I wasn't 100% on his performance as Reacher, but it was pretty close to what I wanted to see. Personality isn't quite spot on yet, but I do think his performances are likely to mature in subsequent series. And I was overall really pleased with his portrayal. I do think sometimes he maybe wasn't given the best lines to work with. Some of the humour in the script wasn't quite right in my mind to Jack Reacher's personality in the books, but I give him the benefit of the doubt and I look forward to seeing the character develop in future series. The one thing coming back to, the one thing that I didn't love was the food obsession, which for me is not right for Reacher at all. So we had scenes in this where he's like smacking on fries and things um, just while he's walking about. And that is not the Reacher in the book, but if that's something they've decided to go down, then so be it. I would have preferred to see more of his obsession with coffee that we get in the book. So the second thing I'm going to talk about is the other characters. I think the series is well cast. None of the characters were quite as I pictured them, but I don't think characters ever are quite how I pitch them when they're cast. The acting in general was good, although I was initially not quite on board with Neagley appearing so soon. I do understand why they did this. Uh, the series would otherwise maybe not have enough recurring cast members. In terms of the other changes, I thought the flashbacks were well done and from what I remember very accurate to the material in the later books. So let's talk about it overall. For me, personally, I felt that the middle episodes, so probably episodes four, five and maybe six, this is an eight episode series, suffered a little bit from feeling padded, which I think is understandable when you're giving a 500 page book eight episodes, which by the way, I think is a great idea because I loved the fact that nothing was really missed out. I loved the opening three episodes. I loved the closing two episodes. They were all very fast paced and exciting. There is a lot of action scenes. It is violent like the books and it is full of action and it did retain lots of the really gory parts that are in this book. I also think that my, my very slight criticism about padding I think this is shown up more because the books are so pacey and gripping. They're really punchy. They're full of short sentences and chapters and you can just read them so quickly. So I think an eight episode series was always likely to feel a bit paddy in the middle. And that is only my opinion. Some people might have loved the middle episodes. I do think that the New York scene I mentioned earlier that was changed was definitely changed to add drama and action scenes. And for me, it took that aspect a little bit too far. Um, it stretched the limits of believability, but you could argue that these books stretch the limits of believability all the time. Um, and I absolutely love them. So yeah, minor criticism. I immensely enjoyed my reread of the book. Um, I still prefer it to the series, but I think they've done a great and very faithful job of adapting this and I can't wait to see more. I really hope that each of the early books is going to get its own series. Most of my favourites, I would say, are in the earlier books in the series, so I do hope to see Die Trying next because I have a soft spot for it being the first one that I read. If you would like to see a future video about Jack Reacher, such as my top 10 of the books, do let me know in the comments down below, and that's something I'd like to make. In summary, the series Reacher retained a lot of elements that I love from the books and each bit that was closely adapted with detail from the book really impressed me. Very faithful. I think fans of Jack Reacher will love this series on the whole. It is a lot of fun and I hope the series Reacher brings a lot of new readers to the book series because the book series is just great. Fast-paced, action-packed and actually full of humour 
um, although I wouldn't say the same sort of humour as the TV series. But I think that if you enjoyed one, you will enjoy the other, broadly speaking. That's really all of my thoughts about Reacher and how it compares to Killing Floor. It's really all I can say without spoiling any aspects of the stories of either. So I do recommend that you go and check out the Amazon Prime series Reacher. I do recommend, above all, that you read Killing Floor. Um, as it is a great thriller and I think the I think the series did a good job of updating it but retaining all of the good action from the book. Thanks for watching today that's all from me and from Jack Reacher and from Harry. If you've enjoyed this video today I hope you'll give it a like and please consider subscribing if you haven't already. Don't forget to let me know in the comments if you would like to be entered for the giveaway to win a much nicer newer copy of Killing Floor or an alternative Jack Reacher book if you already have this one. Let me know, have you seen this series? Have you read the books? If you haven't read the books or seen the series, let me know if you think it sounds like your kind of thing. That's all from me today. I hope if you are watching the Reacher series, you're enjoying it. And if you are reading the books, you're enjoying them too. Thanks for watching today. I hope to see you all again soon for another video all about books here on Alice and the Giant Bookshelf. Bye for now.